news that is definitely going to affect Call of Duty going forward, yeah. which certainly is going to have Activision and Microsoft Wait for a it. bit worried about the future of the COD franchise. So an old rival is re-entering the gaming space here. I'm talking about the franchise like it's dead, but with 2042, let's be honest here, Battlefield is going to be coming back. And yeah, guys, Battlefield is coming back. <laughs> it is coming back. It's going back to its roots. <laughs> Yeah, I, honestly, the news is good, but like I was saying, wait for the plot twist, guys. The y You're gonna look like this, quite frankly. All of you are mostly, 95% of you, are gonna be sent to coma tonight. And they're using COD as kind of their basis to kind of get people more interested in Battlefield as a whole. So yeah. let's just go ahead and jump into it. The entire article is... Uh, for context, he's talking about the next Battlefield game. And yeah, information came out about the next Battlefield game. But like I said, wait for the... It's down there in the description. It's coming from Tom Henderson over on his website, Insider Gaming. I've covered Tom many times here in the channel. He's one of the most credible leakers and industry insiders out there. If you don't know Tom Henderson, well, then you haven't been paying close enough yeah. attention. So apparently the next yeah, Battlefield yeah. game right now has has an estimated release date of 2025 probably Man, in october what the hell bro like what the hell dog 2025 dog i'll be 80 years old by 2025 man but quite frankly it makes sense right i guess a lot of people did expect like the next battlefield game to not be released this year it was kind of like a 30 70 rule right like a lot of people thought uh, that uh, it, the chances are very slim that we're gonna get and it feels now it feels a lot more realistic because he had done their investor call not long ago we did live stream on the channel and during the stream they did confirm that yeah the next battlefield game is in development but they didn't say anything more than that which is a sign that it's not ready and it's not coming out anytime soon because if it was far ahead then they would have been like yeah people gonna get hit in the g-spot everybody's gonna like the game you know we're going back to the roots i mean they did say they're going back to the roots how many times we heard that right absolute crazy and uh they also did say that it's planned for october 2025 it will have 64 player matches and there's a lot more uh, and plot twist like i said wait for it over of 2025 so it's kind of a ways away from now we're not talking about anything that's gonna be happening very soon but the new battlefield is reportedly coming the that's game good. itself is going to be led by Vince Sampella. I cannot believe this. Is somebody who's been playing COD? For you know what? Uh, Nero Cinema. Nero Cinema saying, I cannot believe it got the same energy as the homie Mr. Dalek. Oh, oh I'm shaking. That, this was, a, and the last time the homie shook, we ended up getting Call of Duty uh, 2022, I guess. Bruh. Oh, no, no, it actually was Cold War, and Cold War was the last good Call of Duty. Forever and covering Call of Duty forever. Like, Vince Sampella is now going to be the lead on the Battlefield series. If you guys Man. don't know him, let me just quickly run it down for you yeah. this dude was the co-founder of infinity ward he made cod he made cod 2 cod 4 as well as modern warfare 2 and then he's done what we've all wanted to do for a long time and just said fuck you to activision left activision formed yeah. respawn <laughs> entertainment then of course went on to make titanfall my guy peaced out and he said that i'm never gonna work with these dipshits again and he actually made titanfall 2 apex legends listen i'm not into apex legends but let's be real apex legends is uh, like considered to be one of the best uh, and the biggest game out there quite frankly and now this Sega is working on, on battlefield right now oh shit, oh shit. That, that's kind of crazy I, I i mean i gotta be honest man in zampella we trust okay in zampella we trust uh i i but but i truly do hope that he doesn't turn battlefield into call of duty there's a reason why suckers love call of duty and there's a reason why suckers love battlefield and as a fan of both franchises uh, are you a fan of both franchises let me know in the comments uh, one if you are two if you just prefer battlefield over call of duty three in the comments if you prefer call of duty over i actually like both uh, and uh, i guess 2025 would be really really good this year we're getting the next uh call of duty game i guess yeah. every year you know new call of duty and we had that leak earlier which i covered uh, i'll link to that video in a second okay as was apex legends well now that guy is handling the Wait battlefield series in the article tom henderson calls him the head honcho of battlefield now which is just crazy like the guy that made cod 4 modern warfare 2 is now leading battlefield like pretty crazy if you ask me battlefield itself according to tom and his sources is apparently going to be going back to its roots the things yeah. that kind of made battlefield oh. great back in the day after the past couple of battlefield games have really faltered i mean for me personally i used to play battlefield all the time like bad yep, company yep. 2 Battlefield 3, Battlefield... Yo, honestly, bro, Bad Company 2 was my first Battlefield game. A and then, you know what? Battlefield 3 came out, loved it, you know? No complaints whatsoever. Battlefield 4 was honestly good, but, you know, at launch, it was so buggy. It wasn't like, you know, Battlefield 2042, different situation where, yeah, a lot of bugs and people don't like it, 
but with Battlefield 4, people love it, but it, it was like really, really buggy at launch, and then when they actually corrected their mistakes, I mean, Battlefield 4 was amazing, honestly, right? Then I believe they came out with uh, Battlefield 1, Masterpiece. Battlefield 5, uh, people uh, people hated because they went in the route of uh, strong, independent, change your gender, kids, the with the LG TV crap and all that. So, Suckers did not like it, and they, that was that, but then apparently, like, they also turned ba uh, Battlefield 5 around, and and all of a sudden, like, people started liking it. Then we got, like, Battlefield 2042. People were really, really hyped, man. Like, what else can I say, guys? Like, I was excited. People got hit in the G-spot. Everybody was waiting for it. And then when the game come came out... Yo, you, you guys know what happened. You guys know what happened, right? But right now, the same is kind of happening. People that are playing Battlefield 2042, they're saying it's actually pretty good. Uh, that's what people are saying and right now uh we are in the hype season of the next call of duty game and the next battlefield but there's a plot twist i know i'm teasing it but get ready for it guys field forward like i didn't play as much as cod but i loved battlefield it was really yeah. fun but the more recent ones i just i don't know i couldn't really get into them and apparently they've heard that feedback and they're going to take the series back to its roots 64 player matches the return of the four class system like yep, the medic yep, yep. the engineer the scout and etc they're going yep. to overhaul its destruction system they're basically wow. going to make battlefield feel like it used to be back in the wow. day which sounds fantastic admit wow, wow. i truly hope but uh, listen man i heard this i heard them say this million times that we're going back to the roots destruction is going to be crazy that it's going to blow your girl away Bruh. i don't know will it actually will it actually i guess only way to tell is find out next Admittedly, I have not really played much of the more recent Battlefield games, but honestly, why would I? I mean, 2042, I remember playing the beta and just thinking, I just don't care. <laughs> Bro, stop chasing the pom pom, man. You were trying to look at it. We caught you right there, Nero Sh -sh -sh I don't know. Like, it just didn't capture that same magic that the older Battlefield games did. I barely even played it. Yeah, They're going to be yeah, apparently yeah. taking Battlefield back to its roots, but it's going to be led by a former Call of Duty guy. And then on top of that, it's also said that the next Battlefield will have a free to play Battlefield. Battle Royale mode, similar to Call of Duty's Warzone. And a lot of you are probably already thinking, oh my god, Battle Royale, why won't it die? I know, I understand, I'm kind of tired of it too, but here's the thing. Uh, uh, I'm dead right now, bro. Another Battle Royale, another Battle Royale. Here's, here's the thing, though. Am I mad with the uh, uh, another edition of Battle Royale? Nah, not really. Do I care? Not really. Am I intrigued? A little bit. Why? Because it's uh, Winston Pella, and it's also Battlefield, right? Because uh, in my mind, I'm thinking that Battlefield is down on the floor right now. You know, the standards have fallen. They cannot fall below, okay? We are already on the ground right now. So the only way to go is up. If they go even below the, 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 the ground level, bro, uh, it's kind of Joe over at that point. But right now, in my head, I'm thinking like, dog, they must... Uh, they must have listened to the feedback like come on man like wrong they, come on guys they must have right uh, with all the feedback that everybody gave them uh everybody crap on battlefield 2042 when it came out understandably so right now they need to listen to the feedback and we're hearing classes uh the old class system is gonna come back that's a w in my uh in my honest opinion but wait for it, wait for they're it. they're gonna have a free-to-play br which they did not have previously which is gonna help them out quite a bit just like all of these wars yeah, yeah. but the big kicker here uh -oh. is that the battlefield free-to-play battle uh -oh. royale is going to be headed by a guy named yeah. byron b yeah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah y'all remember this uh uh this like out here i was all, all i almost said twat but uh respectfully i have uh, you know it's just jokes if you're listening mr uh but look at that i mean look at the sun is shining so bright on his head god damn yeah. You know, got a smile. That's a beautiful smile right there. Like, listen, man, if you would be making millions and millions of dollars, you would be smiling like that. This this man too, guys. So, um, yeah, this guy was working on Call. Of I believe this is like who started Call of Duty Warzone. So you can, if you want to blame him, you can blame him. If you want to appreciate him, you can appreciate him because some people love Call of Duty Warzone, some hate it. But right now, like, he is uh, Team Battlefield. Okay, okay. <laughs>
I think I pronounced his name correctly. He was the general manager of Call of Duty at the time when they initially launched the original Warzone as well as Call of Duty Mobile. Like apparently yeah. the entire battle. But again, this is still not that plot twist, guys. Again, this is not. It's a small plot twist, but I guess what I'm trying to say, wait for the climax. Royale mode is kind of his brainchild. So the guy that made Warzone is going to be making the Battlefield BR. The guy that made COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 is leading the development of the next Battlefield game. And also, according to Tom Henderson, it looks like this Battlefield Battle Royale is going to have two different game modes. Again, similar to Warzone. So it's going to have one traditional BR mode, as you would expect. And the other mode is going to be more like a gauntlet, or it's going to be called gauntlet, uh -huh. where you're going to have teams of players competing in a Battle Royale setting on objective-based uh -huh. modes. Uh -huh. And then at the end of each mission, the lowest scoring team will be kicked out. And that actually sounds interesting, because Battlefield, for me, was always known for its objective play. You know what I mean? Like, you could go play Team Deathmatch or whatever, but Battlefield... Yeah, that's Battlefield. Like, it's all about, like, PTFO. But guys, uh, this is the moment, okay? Clench your butt cheeks, guys, uh, because... Uh, I Oh, that, you know what? Let, let me just stop hyping it up. Also, I guess he forgot to mention, or maybe he's going to mention later on in the video, but you know what? I'll give it to you straight, okay? The game is set, uh, set in modern era, so that's that's definitely a W. I like that. 2025, it's coming out in 2025, so it's going to start from that, and 2030, give or take. That's uh, the near futuristic, let's just say, but still present. I like that. But guys, uh, news. This just came out, okay? This just came out. As part of today's layoff, EA is laying off devs, right? PlayStation did, Microsoft did, uh, Phil Spencer said he's, he's gonna make a very good environment for the devs. Guess what? Fires everybody, right? He did that. PlayStation firing devs, EA firing devs. So, as part of today's layoff at EA, EA is shutting down Battlefield Studio Ridgeline Games, and the studio was working on narrative experiences for Battlefield. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It is over. It is it is just it's over. So who's working on it right now? Apparently, it's not all doom and gloom. We're thankfully, I guess, hearing that Battlefield's narrative work is now being led by Criterion Games. Uh, those of you that are fan of Need for Speed, I guess it's Joe over for you, so Bruh. there's that. But earlier today, we also got like massive leaks for Call of Duty 2024. Click on this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there. Check this out, man. And on the left, Dr. Disrespect catches Z-Liner cheating. Check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right there.